<lacht> Na, Fury, wie wär's mit einem kleinen Ausritt? Hast du Lust? Son, where have you been? I was just telling you. I was chasing a skunk. Pee Wee, come on into the house. There's something I want to talk to you about. Sure. America? Why down there? Well, the company I used to work for is giving me my old job back. And that's where they're going to send me. If it's okay with you. Well, sure, I guess so. We have to stick together, you know. You bet we do. Now, don't forget, it'll mean leaving all your friends behind. Joey and the other boys and Pokey and Fury. Wouldn't be gone forever, would we? No, only for a year. And we come back here after that? If everything works out all right, and I don't see why not. Boy, join me and you have a lot to talk about when I got back. <laughs> you sure would. I read in school once where they got bulls and gone to cowboys and everything in South America. I bet it'd be real interesting. I'm supposed to call him if I decide to take the job, Pee Wee. Well. What do you say? If it's what you want, Dad, then it's what I want, too. Oh. It's Joey! Boy, wait till he hears about this! Hello, operator. I want Mr. Larry Anders at the Meridian Oil Exploration Company in New York City. South America? That's thousands of miles away. Sure it is. But we'll only be gone a year. Do you really want to go? Well, I can't let my dad go by himself. Besides, you'd feel the same way if it was Jim going down there, wouldn't you? Yeah, I guess I would. Gosh, I'll, I'll sure miss you, Pee Wee. <laughs> I'm gonna miss you, too. No well, we can write to each other. And maybe I can even send you one of those sombreros they wear down there. Sombreros? You know, those big hats. <laughs> you mean a sombrero? That's what I said. Uh, uh, sombrero. <laughs> Gosh, it won't be the same without you, Pee Wee. Well, I haven't left yet. Say, I saw a skunk up by Razorback Ridge this morning. Do you want to go catch him after lunch? If you do. Sure. I'll meet you over at your place. Okay? Okay. South America. Holy cow. That's right, Larry, it's all set. Good, Henry, you've made me very happy. We've missed you in this business. You know, I, I never could see you as a horse rancher. Well, frankly, Larry, neither could I. You know, I should have sold this ranch long ago, but I kept thinking things might get better and, well, you know the rest. Now, the bank takes over as soon as I leave here. Boy, you're giving me my old job back's a real lifesaver. Hey, by the way, what arrangements have you made for the boy? I was going to ask you about that. What's the school situation down there? Well, Henry, I, I thought you understood you. You can't take the boy with you. What are you talking about? He has to go with me. But Larry... Well, it's out of the question, Henry. The, well, there are just no accommodations for families. <laughs> Why can't you find a nice boarding school or something for him? 
Boarding school? With Larry, a year's a long time. Why, I wouldn't think of leaving him at a boarding school. Look, Henry, you're, you're one of my closest friends, but, well, this is a matter of company policy. Uh, if you won't leave Pee Wee, I'll, I'll just have to assign the job to somebody else. All right. All right, Larry. I'll, I'll have to let you know. I, I, I understand. Yeah. Goodbye. I heard what you said, Dad. They don't want me to go, do they? No, son, it's not that way at all. It's just that, well, I never even stopped to think about the location of that oil field. It's a way out in the jungle, and it's just not the place to take you, that's all. What are we going to do? Well, I, I just won't go, that's all. There are other places to work besides South America. In the oil business? Well, no, not right now, but I'll think of something else. But you said yourself the oil business was the only thing you knew. Something will turn up. Dad, I'm not a baby. I'm growing up. I got responsibilities, <laughs> just like anybody else. I'm serious. Look, you said something on the phone about a boarding school. Well, if you can go live in a hot jungle for a year for me, then why can I go to a boarding school for a year for you? Oh, no. No, Peavy. It's, it's just out of the question. Why? Tommy Jones went away to a boarding school last year, and he said it was great. But Tommy's a lot older than you. He is not. We're both the same age. Besides, the boarding school he went to is only about 100 miles from here, and he used to come home for weekends and stuff. Maybe if I went there, I could visit Joy every now and then. Tommy told me they got baseball and swimming and all kinds of things. I, I don't know what to say. Well, we, we could look into it, huh? Let's drive over there. We can both look into it. All right. We could go this afternoon. Maybe make a weekend of it, huh? Great. I guess I'd better take Pokey over to the Broken Wheel to see if Joy will take care of him for me while we're gone. Good idea. Pick you up in an hour. All right. <laughs> He and Fury will get along fine. Why don't we keep on Dad so long? He said he'd only be gone an hour. Sure sound anxious to go to that school. Well, I am. It'll be real, real, real different. You're not kidding me, Pee-wee. What do you mean? You don't want to go to that boarding school any more than I do. Well, maybe I don't. Oh, I don't know. Besides, what difference does it make? I'm doing it for my dad. Does he know how you feel? No, and don't you tell him. Don't say anything now, promise? Not to dad or Jim or Pete or anyone. I promise. Scout's on her? Scout's on her. Hi, dad. Hello, son. Hi, Joey. Well, you ready, Pee Wee? Sure, dad. Is Pokey all right? He's real happy with Fury. Well, we better get going. Okay, Dad. Maybe we can catch that skunk when I get back. <laughs> See you Monday morning, Joey. Sure, Monday morning. So long, Joey. So long, Pee-wee. Bye, Joey. Sure is going to be lonesome without Pee-wee. And some more syrup. What's the matter? You sick? I've had enough, Pete. Honest. Besides, i got to get going. Where? Have you forgotten? Pee-wee's coming home this morning. i got to go meet him. But you don't know what time he's coming back. What difference does that make? I'll go outside and wait, okay, Jim? Sure. And Pee-wee's been gone one weekend. You'd think it was a lifetime, as far as that boy's concerned. Yeah. You can't blame him. You want some more coffee? Yeah. See, it's got me worried, Is What's going to happen when P.V. goes away for a whole year to that there boarding school? Joey will be lost. Yeah, I've been thinking about that, too. Jim, why couldn't P.V. stay here with us? 
You serious? Why not? He's practically been living here anyhow. <laughs> Matter of fact, Pete, I've been thinking about that myself. But from what Joey said, I got the idea that Pee-wee wanted to go away to school. Maybe he convinced you, but he ain't convinced me. I think them kids is hiding something. Maybe. Maybe. something, we'll find it out now. so enthusiastic over anything. <laughs> it's the best ever. I guess you're gonna go, huh? You bet. I just came home to pack. Dad's taking me back tomorrow. Tomorrow? Why so soon? Sooner the better. Don't forget, Dad's gotta get ready to leave for South America. Oh. Well, don't look so glum, Joey. Pee Wee could always come visit us on weekends, you know. Well, that'd be wonderful if he could, Jim. Well, sure, anytime, Henry. Dad, if I get all packed this morning, you suppose it'd be okay if Joey and me went skunk hunting this afternoon? Oh, I don't see why not. I think you boys ought to have a little time together before you leave. How about it, Joey? Sure. As a matter of fact, Henry, why don't you come on over, too, and we'll sort of make a party of it. Beetle will cook us a real special dinner. How about some roast beef and brown potatoes? Mmm, I can't turn that down. <laughs> All right, we'll expect you. Fine. Come on, son. We got a lot of things to do. Okay, Dad. Will you bring Pokey ever with you when you come? Sure. Still think the kids are hiding something from us? No, I reckon not. You know, Pee Wee was downright excited about that school. Mm. It's a shame that Joey has to be the one to suffer on account of it. Yeah, it's always tough to lose your best friend. Yeah. Gosh, Fury, I think Pee Wee was really serious. He acted like he wanted to go to that boarding school. Skunk was here last week. Suppose he's still around? If he was, we'd know it. <laughs> Let's try over there, wanna? I don't care. What's the matter, Pee-wee? Mm, nothing. You thinking about that school? I guess so. You didn't really like it, did you, Pee-wee? That was only an act you were putting on this morning. I'm going there, aren't I? Look, you asked me on Scout's honor not to tell anybody how you felt about it before you went there. Now I'm asking you, did you like it? Let's go find that skunk. There he is. Shh, be quiet now. Be quiet. I'm being quiet. Okay, all right. Easy now. He's getting away. Let's go after him. He sure isn't around here. What's that? That's the old Hope Silver Mine. A real silver mine? Well, I guess so. It's been closed a long time. You suppose there's any silver left in it? How do I know? Let's go find out. What for? Well, if there's any silver left in it, it'll be worth money, wouldn't it? Yeah. Well, if we got enough of it, 
then maybe Dad wouldn't have to sell the ranch. Go to South America. You didn't really like that school, did you? I didn't say that. You coming? at your own risk. What's a gas pocket? Uh, it's natural gas that seeps into mines. I suppose there's any in there now? How do I know? Well, come on. I don't know, Pee-wee. If we smell any gas, we'll come out. Now, come on. Uh... <laughs> Go back and get a flashlight. We're all right. Joey! <laughs> what happened? I don't know. You all right? I'm kind of all shaken up. But I'm okay. Oh. Oh. Looks like we found a pretty deep hole. Gosh, I'll never get out of here. Take it easy, Pee-wee. Fuck off, Fury. Maybe he can help us. You think he'll hear us? I gotta try. Fury! 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 Fury, go get Jim! Bring him here! He's gone. Now what do we do? We wait. Do you? Gosh, I hope not. <coughs> Hi, Henry. Jim, Pete. Hi. <laughs> well, then it's almost ready. Yeah, we need as soon as the kids get back. They still after that skunk? <laughs> and I sure hope they don't catch it. <laughs> Don't talk. 
talk like that, Pee Wee. You know what? I'm not sorry either. <laughs> I can hear him. I never wanted to go to that school. You were right all the time. <coughs> and I just didn't want Dad to know. That boarding school's awful. I don't like it at all. You know what? I never liked Tommy Jones either. Pee Wee. Pee Wee! I, I'm... Jim! Jim! We'll have you out of there in a minute, Joey. Yeah, I didn't mean what I said in there, Dad. <laughs> really, I didn't. Son, we heard everything. And you don't have to pretend any longer. But I wasn't pretending. I wanted to go to that school. So you'll be happy. You go to South America. Pee Wee, I'm not going. Why, I was foolish to ever consider it. You know, we've always stuck together. And after the trouble this has caused, why, we're just going to forget about it. But what did you do? I got a job in Capital City, washing dishes if I have to. I'm not going to take you away from the things you love and your friends. No, that'd be awful for you. Now, wait a minute. Maybe, maybe I've got a solution. Pee Wee, how'd you like to come and stay at the Broken Wheel while your dad's away? You mean it, Jim? Sure he means it. Oh, boy, would I? <laughs> that is, if it's okay with you, Dad. Well, I... We're sure it is. Yowie! <laughs> Jim, I... I just don't know what to say. Don't say nothing, Henry. Just get on down to South America and do what you cut out to do. <laughs> in that bag. That skunk we've been chasing. We caught him. Get him out of here right now. Yeah, don't come any closer. Gosh, it's nothing but a little old skunk. Get. Go on, both of you. Well, me first. Don't you even want to see him? I hate to think what else them two is going to be up to during the next year. Plenty, Pete. <laughs> you know what? I think we're going to enjoy every minute of it. <laughs> 